Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Ali Shama here. Welcome outdoors and welcome to flight testing of Flywing FW450 V3 with my all new Radio Master TX16S Mark II Max Edition running Edge TX and touch screen. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover a very, very important update from Flywing that's definitely going to save you and your helicopters from crashing. Nose down, dropping. And it just switches itself to inverted mode and holds itself in an abrupt, abrupt way. Look at that! Now before we proceed, please subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications. Before I fly, let me briefly and quickly cover this long awaited update. Remember a while ago in my videos, I have mentioned that Flywing is going to release an update where you can set a safe altitude in your H1 light flight controllers parameter and you will fly 3D on your RC helicopter. And when you make mistake and your helicopter is dropping out of your control, as soon as it goes below that set safe altitude that you have set, it will automatically switch to GPS, save your helicopter from crashing and save you a lot of dollar dollar. So yes, Flywing has just rolled out this update. Now, if you go to Flywing website download section, you can see that there is Assist version 2.0 available to download. I will say go ahead, download it as soon as possible. Once again, remember to disable your antivirus software and make an exception on H1 Heli V2.0, okay? And when you run that app and connect your helicopter to that version 2.0 Assist, you will see in parameter, there is a new option down there that says 3D safe, and you can turn it on and set a safe altitude that you like. For example, I have set six meters altitude after that just disconnect and go ahead go out fly it and you can see that this update is definitely going to save you from crashing your helicopter so i'm doing 3d all right and let's say i made a mistake so you saw that as soon as i make a mistake it actually switched to gps mode and stabilize itself so I'm inverted and I come below six meters altitude. It automatically flips back to normal flight itself. So once again, inverted, all right, comes down to five or six meters altitude that I have set, automatically flips back to normal mode. Now let's go higher and switch to 3d mode so this is 3d as you can see i can do inverted and as soon as it comes below uh six meters you can see it's like gps invert automatically holds position right there if i am below you know six meters now i'm at higher altitude all right switching to 3d mode as you can see and as soon as i come below six meter it just holds its position go back up again 3d mode all right inverted and as soon as i come below six meter it just stops doing 3d and switches to gps mode and holds its position 3d mode as well okay and as soon as you drop below six meters your helicopter actually switches to gps mode and <laughs> holds its position saving you from crashing okay let's uh <clears throat> let me do one more scenario so i'm going above six meters altitude switching to 3d 
Okay, inverted you have watched. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it tail down. Look at that. How it stabilizes itself, all right? So let's drop it tail down again. All right? Look at that. How it stabilizes itself. 3D mode. All right, 3D mode, nose down, dropping. And it just switches itself to inverted mode and holds itself. So it's still, it's still it saved itself. Still it saved itself. So nose, nose down, dropping again, hold on. Six meters altitude, hold on. I hope you can see it. Nose down. Okay, it shifts to inverted GPS. Nice. Now I will drop it sideways. Look at that. Nice. Let's drop it in an abrupt, abrupt way. Look at that. It just switches to GPS mode no matter how you drop. So which way you want me to drop it now? Let's drop it sideways this time once again. Look at that. Okay. So in 3D mode, I'm gonna drop it sideways. Look at that. I didn't even touch the radio. It was dropping sideways, okay? And it just switches to GPS mode and comes down, saves itself. So all these flight mistakes, so all these mistakes that I did right before you, this is what beginners will do. You see, every time I dropped it sideways, tailways, nose down, I actually didn't touch the radio. It simply switches to GPS instantly as soon as it drops to that six meters altitude and even inverted or non-inverted, it holds its position. And then I have plenty of time to take a deep breath, go up, disengage the 3D, re-engage 3D and get back to flying my helicopter is right here people after doing all these mistakes is still flying it saved itself because of this 3d safe feature so people now feel free to learn 3d aerobatics fly and practice your 3d moves with confidence and with peace of mind because as soon as you make a mistake you go out of control no matter how your helicopter is dropping all you need to do is leave your sticks as soon as the helicopter touches that set altitude it will automatically switch to gps and save you from spending lots of dollar dollars on parts or repair time and all those struggles and saves your beautiful helicopter from crashing. You have seen just now, I have tried different ways dropping this helicopter completely out of control and it just always switches to GPS mode and saves itself. All right, thank you very much for watching this video, people. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you have learned and I hope you're gonna appreciate how the Flywing is releasing these coolest and really very useful features. And these features are actually working very, very well. So now having to have this 3D safe feature, you're not gonna crash your helicopter when you are practicing 3D and learning to 3D. Feel free to make mistakes, but no matter in what orientation, as soon as your helicopter drops below that set altitude, it will switch to GPS 
and hold its position and you will not crash your helicopter. All right, and number two, of course, yes, I know you are waiting for a video tutorial on how to set up your Edge TX Radio Magitek 16S for all five flight modes using two switches. Well, basically, it's very easy. I'm going to post a complete video tutorial on my channel, so do remember to subscribe, hit that little bell icon, and turn on all the notifications. So as soon as I post that video tutorial, detailed video tutorial on how to program HTX using all for, for all five flight modes on a Flyving FW450 V3, you you will get a notification and you can watch. Basically, I can tell you it's just super easy. You just have to override channel five using any other switches and set those values that you need to do. Remember those values? 1000 for 3D, 1300 for 6G, 1400 for ATT, 1500 for GPS, and 2000 for RTH. So if you know these values, you can easily set. But again, if you do not know how to, this video tutorial is coming your way very, very soon on my channel. And I will also upload a YML or model file so you can easily download should you feel very lazy and don't want to program. You can download that model file and import it on your radio controller and configure your helicopter. All right, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much. Have fun, people. I'm out. Come on. You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on. Don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.